crossed over again and I've got the waterfall right here so I'm just going to kind of document and show you a little bit of this. Also before I do that, this is why if you have a chance, you put on waders and boots that have cleats on the bottom so that you don't fall on your derriere down here under these conditions. You can see the surface coming up. I mean, it's, it's big and it's coming right up to the edge here. So there might be some interesting content to get. Wow. Um, where the surf meets the waterfall. I'll probably be over here on this ledge shooting right there. Um, and, you know, there's a neat cave over there. It's a little hard to see in there. Let me show you a little perspective of the waterfall. Hopefully I don't go in. Okay. Now you can see the waterfall going down into the water. And that's where those waves came all the way up here and crashed in. See my little bitty camera over there. Okay. Okay. Let's see what Welcome we can back. do. Welcome back. And these, I'm going to add in a couple of bonus uh, conversions here, uh, showing you some of my black and white process. These are a couple of files that are actually uh, very simple um, conversions and, and part of it is because the tonal range and, the, and everything that's going on the range and light is really easy to control. Uh, so I have one here from Hug Point which I'm going to add, add in a couple little fun videos from my adventure in getting to Hug Point and, and shooting there. So um, I, I had a great time. I, you know, the little hike in and then of course the waves that I had to dodge while I was out there. Anyway, so I'm going to add these into the Master of Light series, and I hope you enjoy them. Again, they're really simple. If you look on screen right now, you'll see that um, it was a very overcast day, and the light was very flat and open, and you'll look at the image on the right, and you can see that what I've done is I've converted it from um, you know, a very wide open to a little bit dark and moody shot. So let me just take you here to the... Um, raw file and I'll show you let's go into the develop module here and just real quickly I'm gonna go ahead and um, do just a standard black and white conversion and and I like to do a standard version of the black and white you know using the Lightroom algorithm uh, because I at this point I don't have enough information to use presets or explore presets and by all means explore them if you'd like uh, but I like to go through the process of building the file uh, and not doing a preset that skips all the way over without understanding what it's doing and when it's doing it or how it's doing it. So I like to go through that process. So let's just do a standard black and white conversion. And then the first thing I like to do is I like to explore the light. So I'll, I'll lower it and you can kind of see the light up in the sky. Then I might open it up and you can see how the water gets hazy down here and kind of has a glow to it and there's a little bit of detail over here in the rocks so um, I usually start dark and then start building it back up so now I've got that nice glow in the sky and I will take a radio filter here and just kind of enhance that let me just double click this because I didn't reset them um, so I'm just going to kind of open that up and then I'm going to do a second radial filter here and just real quickly when I do these um, it's easier for me to just double click effect or because I might use the same density and the same um, you know levels of exposure highlight and whatever I used previously so I, I leave the effect and just kind of double click them if I need to reset them but a lot of times I might use the same thing so I'm just going to go in here now and hit exposure and then I'm going to go in and just kind of try and work the highlight range and get my, my peak highlights. Now I'm going to extend this a little because I want it to go over to the water over to the right. I'm going to turn that a little, keep it out of over here. So now I've kind of got your baseline. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Let's see. I'm going to take a, uh, I'm going to turn these off and I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a little clarity overall that gives me a little up bump in contrast. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a little clarity down in here. 
and you can see I'm picking up the contrast on the rocks and a little bit of you know sharper streakiness in the water and a little bit of detail down in here so now I'm gonna go back I'm gonna pick the adjustment brush I'm gonna make it a, I'm gonna reset I'm gonna open up my exposure I'm gonna hit the shadows a little white and a little highlight now this is I'm just gonna test this out because I want to come back in here this paint in there it's not really doing much yet so here we go I'm gonna try it right in here a little bit and bring out some detail in this rock so I have a little detail there I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna hit these edges here now you can see this highlight starting to show up on this rock right here so it's it's behind it's this edge of this rock is on the other side of this long rock that created a shadow so it's poking out so I'm gonna hit a a new brush I'm gonna reset real quick I like shadows exposure and I'm gonna go back in here and pull out a little bit more detail down in here especially around these rocks back in here the more I put a highlight in the front left then a shadow behind it and then another highlight and then a uh, shadow behind it and then a highlight I now have transitions in the light I have layers of light that draw the eye through the scene so I think that's really important okay let's uh, let's go back and grab another radio real quick and just work on this water over here that was my previous effect so I'm going to double click that and just raise that a little bit I'm going to dehaze that just a smidge over here I'm going to move it out here, lower. I'm going to hit a new one real quick because what I've done is I've lost a lot of detail down here in the highlights. So I'm just going to come back, pull those highlights down a little bit down in there. You can see how I've kind of tightened that up. Did that. All right, so I'm going to close that real quick, and then I'm going to look at my tone curve, which will help me kind of adjust the overall. I'm going to brighten that, and then I'm going to kind of take it down. I'm going to see what's going to happen with the shadows. That might be a little, that's too much. I'll go back here, open this up a little, take the overall exposure down. Okay, so contrast looks okay clarity's good I think that there um, what might help is to see if I can't go into these shadows and a little exposure back in here and see if there's some detail back there that will just give me a little bit more definition and edge okay one more bigger I'm gonna take this I'm gonna go back to this radial take that down just a smidge I'm gonna do a big radial let me just reset that I'm gonna invert this one but I'm gonna leave the shadows open a little bit over here so I brought the edges down a little but left this open so that's that's just kind of a, a really quick conversion I don't know what it looks like compared to the first one let's take a quick look they're not too far apart my sky is a little bit more dramatic over here my rocks got a little bit more detail my water is about the same um, you know there's a little bit more of a highlight on the rock here which which is not a bad thing so I have a little bit more detail back here in the rock so each time I may go in and look at them all just a little bit differently so that's the first one uh, now I'm gonna go and take a peek at another one real quick for you let me get rid of these okay so this is one in Iceland and it's a very similar type of environment overcast you know little highlights and some shadows so let me just get in here real quick and I'll show you what we can do here again this is uh, right around Vic it's uh, got some sea stacks out there the water the delay and the and the and the time I can't remember exactly what that was but it's probably somewhere between you know 15 and 30 seconds uh, could be a little bit longer could be a minute or two 
So let's just quickly do your basic black and white conversion. I'm just going to check the horizon. The horizon looks a little crooked, so I'm just going to fix the horizon real quick. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to add contrast. I'm going to pull this down, get it a little bit more moody. And what I like to do is, again, I like to go down, and this helps me see this, this highlight down here. I'll go up. And I'll see what I can get as far as a glow in the sky. There's there's not much of a glow or direction in the sky, so I'm going to probably take a little creative liberty there. So I'm taking it down. So I'll take it up a little bit more. I'm going to take a big radial. Double click that, invert it. Take the, all the edges down to kind of create a little bit more mood in the center. So, and I could actually take that and put it over here to the right a little bit. And I'll take a second one, a little bit thinner, angle it, put it over here. So, before the effect was on it, I, I kind of skipped to the effect. So, I'm going to go just here in the highlights and up in the whites. And now we've got that glow, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it off over here, and I'm going to raise the exposure a little bit. So now we have that glow coming from that side there. And I'm going to now switch to a, a brush, and I've got this um, nice white flow with a little bit of uh, flow through the scene and as far as the softness there. So I'm going to double click this. I'm going to raise this up, put highlights. And white. I'm going to check my flow. I'm going to let it go a little bit lower so I can build it. And I don't think I want to go across all of it. I, I don't mind it fading out here. I like it kind of in the center there being a little brighter. I can tweak my density there. And I'm also going to work pump the clarity because that helps me get I'm going to close this real quick so I can kind of point this out. But there's this little edge right in there, this a little bit sharper edge. So by pumping the clarity, I've now got that to show up a little bit. I, I do want to show you this real quick. So if I hit the shadows, you'll see the mask shows that the shadows are completely black. Um, I can go back now, and at some point, if I want to grab an area like that, let me turn that on. I can grab an area like that. I can create a bigger mask, I'll rotate that a little get it down over here and then I can just pump the, the black ever so slightly bring it back and then pump the shadows boom and that's gone and there's a little detail in there well in this particular image I would prefer it to actually be pretty pitch black um, I don't mind a subtle detail from the black beach and stuff like that or you know then it, or I could go back in here do that. Open my shadows here, and I could just paint a little bit of that black out if I needed to. You know, just right in here and start working those. So that was a really quick um, edit. I'm gonna turn that off real quick. Get the library. My new one is over here. I actually like my old one a little better. So let's just go back and take another look at this. And I think that's probably a matter of tweaking the contrast a little, taking the overall exposure down, maybe creating a little filter in here, and pumping the clarity in there so it gets a little sharper, possibly a touch of dehaze, and now I've got a little bit more mood in there. And Actually, I'm going to go back here. I might thin that up a little. Move this one over. Go to this one. Should be just a little too bright. And there we go. Check this. Let me just show you that mask. Close. Let's just peek at them. You know, they're different, but that's part of the process, right? having fun, just kind of reworking it. And I would work these two or three times or come back in a couple of weeks and look at them and, and, and just kind of 
you know, work them until I feel like I'm emotionally connected to them. So there you go. That's uh, two quick uh, black and white conversions. Pretty simple process. It's really just dodging and burning like I did in the dark room uh, for 35 years. So um, I hope that helps. I hope that was a little bit more fun and a little bit of a, a great little bonus. All right. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.